Hey Jake, it's me again. Your mom said that you found these videos helpful, so I'm so excited. She said that you finished most of your packet, uh, which is fantastic. That's amazing. It's like only the summer is barely starting for you, it seems like, because you guys get out pretty late. So that's fantastic. Uh, great work on that. Uh, she said you had some problems on the page 8 and page 12, so I wanted to make sure we went over those today. Uh, okay, so I hope I'm doing the right one, but this is what page 8 looks like, is all of these guys. These are all um, evaluating variable expressions, right? This is actually really helpful for algebra. Uh, you'll find that you're, you're going to have to do this when you get into like functions and lines and things like that, so it's a really good idea to have this down pat. So we're going to work through these together. Uh, so for number two, we always write the problem down first, uh, like this. And as a hint, what I like to do is get rid of those parentheses. We're going to make those brackets. So when you write that problem down, make them brackets right away. Then, uh, and the reason why I do this is because these do get a little bit more complicated. So it's a really good idea to get into a good habit now until you can kind of see how this works. Uh, and then we have x equals 5 and y equals 2. So the next thing you should do is uh, wherever there's a variable, put in parentheses. So 8, bracket, we're going to throw in some parentheses like this. And now we're going to plug in, right? So we've got 5 minus and y equals 2, y equals 2. So really what the problem looks like is this, right? 5 minus 2. Uh, so the bracket part, not totally necessary, but it is good if you get like a really long one. That's a good thing to think about. Um, and remember, we always want to do the stuff that's in our parentheses first. You've heard of PEMDAS, right? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, you notice I put multiplication and division on the same line. That's because you do them in order from left to right, right? And I, gotta, I can do this this way, otherwise I'm showing you the wrong way. So you do it from left to right, whether division comes first or multiplication does first. Um, and then same with addition and subtraction. Now, this stands for parentheses. I hate that we use parentheses for that because parentheses can mean a, a multitude of things, right? Uh, it can mean a negative number by writing it like this. It can be multiplication, which is like this. Really what parentheses is saying is grouping because sometimes there's implied grouping. For example, if I have this, this says 7 plus 3 divided by 10. What it's saying is we're, we've got to do these guys first before we do the division, which goes against PEMDAS. That's because this is an implied grouping, implied grouping, okay? So anyway, think of, think of parentheses as an implied grouping. All right, so in this case, we'll do these, this group here, right? Eight, and the operation that comes in between here, again, mathematicians are lazy, so if you don't see it, it's probably multiplication. So the uh, operation that comes in there, multiplication, five minus two is three, and then we get that, we get 24, 24. All right, let's look at number three. Uh, we have y, x divided by two. X is seven, y is two, excellent. So we're gonna plug these numbers in right over here to, and again, we're lazy, right? So if there's nothing shown in between here, it's probably multiplication. We can't do that with uh, numbers because if I wrote two and seven, you would think that's 27. So I have to put something in there when I'm dealing with numbers. Two times seven, right, divided by two. Again, we do multiplication and division in the, uh, it, we treat them equally and we go left to right. So we're gonna do this guy first, which is 14 divided by two which gives us seven. And you'll notice I'm underlining what I'm doing as I'm walking through it. And that's because you wanna make sure that uh, you're showing your teacher like what your brain is thinking. I think that's important. Okay, so for number four, we have M minus N divided by four, M equals five, N equals eight. All right, so we're gonna plug these guys in, minus eight divided by, Four. Again, PEMDAS, right? We need to actually do our division before we do our subtraction. So do this bit first. So now we have five, bring everything else down, five minus four divided by, or I'm sorry, eight divided by four is two. That gives us three. All right, pause just a second. Okay, so my niece is visiting today and my dogs are fighting over a bone with her. So she's watching me as I, she's 10 and she's watching me uh, as I'm writing this video or making this video for you. All right, so X minus Y plus six. Am I on that one? Yes, that's number five. I should probably number these. That would be helpful. Uh, X equals six, Y equals one. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own and see if you've got it. Uh, okay, so we've got 
6 minus 1 plus 6. Again, we're going to want to do this guy first. That's going to give us 5 plus 6. That gives us 11. Excellent. Let's look at 6. Oh, these, this is a cubed in there. Oi, oi. X to the third power. All it's saying is, let's, I'm going to show you a little bit of side work. X to the third power is just saying X times X times X. For example, if we had 2 to the third power, that would be, and these, these are good to memorize. I'm going to be real honest with you. Uh, 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 more is 8. So 2 to the third power is going to be 8. If we have 3 to the third power, we got 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. It's a really common mistake to look at this and be like, oh, 3 times 3, that's 9. But you got to do it one more time and get that 27, okay? Uh, so with that said, uh, let's back up to the problem. I jumped all over the place here. X to the 1, oh, that, that'll be good, equals 19. So we have 19 plus 1 to the third power, a little bit of side work. 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. I love 1. It's a good one. All right, so 19 plus 1, that gives us 20. All right, let's look at the next one. Um, I think you could probably do 7, 8, 9, uh, and yeah, you should be able to do the rest of these uh, pretty well. Let's do, we'll do 11 and 12 together. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'm happy to go back and do some. All right, so this is number 11. We have x equals 5, y equals 2. Um, and back at the start of the video, I said, oh, put some brackets in and then put parentheses every time there's a variable. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it is, it is kind of helpful. So 10 minus x is 5 plus y is 2 divided by 2. Again, we want to do our multiplication and division first. So we're going to do this guy right here. So we have 10 minus 5 plus 1. And now we do our addition and subtraction in order. So we've got this guy here, 5 plus 1, which equals... Six. All right, let's do 12. Um, P minus 2 plus Q, P. So P equals 7, Q equals 4. So we're going to do for our P is 7 minus 2 plus Q is 4 times P, which is 7. Again, we want to do our multiplication first. We got that guy here, 7 minus 2 plus 28. And now we're going to do 7 minus 2, that gives us 5, plus 28, that gives us 33, 33. All right, so if you have any questions, like I said, let me know, um, and I will get a video for you for page 12, because that's integers, and that's my favorite. So, all right, thanks.